What's up, YouTube? Simr2 here. Uh, first off, I want to thank Eric over here for catching this article. Appreciate that, Eric. You do a great job, buddy. And it's about a sun diving comet due to arrive on uh, December the 15th. The first thing I want to do is make sure I don't want nobody panicking or freaking out or acting all crazy. I mean, there ain't no point in me. You either got ready or you didn't. You made up your mind. You got ready, you got prepared, you know, the, these are the things that we prepared for. Yeah. These things happen over and over and over, and and, and, and life goes on. I'm just to show you that. At any rate, this Kreutz family, Sun Grazers, as, I mean, you can look it up. I'm, the only reason I keep using Wikipedia is because the resources are always down here, and you can look up any of the resources or references any of this and, and verify most of the information it's just easier here because most of it's all put together at any rate a family of uh, sun grazing comets characterized by orbits taking them extremely close to the sun at perihelion which is its closest point they're believed to be fragments of one large comet that broke up several centuries ago and are named after a German astronomer Henrich Kreutz, I hope I said that right, and if I don't, forgive me, who first demonstrated that they were related. Several members of the Kreutz family have become great comets, occasionally visible near the sun in the daytime sky. The most recent of these was comet Ikea Siki in 1965, and remember these dates, which may have been one of the greatest comets in the last millennia, or the brightest, excuse me. It has been suggested that another cluster of bright Kreutz system comets may begin to arrive in the inner solar system in the next few decades, or next few years to decades. Many hundreds of smaller numbers of the family, some only a few meters across, have been discovered since the launch of SOHO satellite in 1995. None of these smaller comets have survived its perihelion passage. Amateur astronomers have been successful at discovering Kreutz comet in the available data on via internet. The fact is that 40 years ago, or some 45 years ago, but the, uh, the first fragment of two fragments came by, and, uh, and of course now we've got word that the second larger fragment may possibly be coming December 14th or 15th. You can read all about this, uh, down here, the last time that it came by was in the 1880s, and in fact, it came by in two parts then, and that's when they discovered that it was uh, in two fragments, the first of which they believe was around 1843, and then the second one came by, I'm just going to shorten this up, because there's so much involved, I got so many numbers in here, it confuses you, you have to read it, but at any rate, the second piece came by in 1883. 1882 and 83 and uh, of course you don't need to you know look at what happened in 1883 well Krakatoa erupted in 1883 when the second piece came by now if you look at if, if, like I said the first piece came by in 1965 meaning this would be the second uh, piece of the cluster first piece came in 1843 and the second one came in 1883 and you can look at the history man and, 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 and you can see that, that a lot of good things happened in 1883 I mean not necessarily good but good things I mean things happened that weren't cataclysmic things happened that, that you know helped humanity quite a bit. The first electric light system employed overhead wiring began service in Ros uh, Roswell, New Jersey. And of course it was built by Thomas Edison and uh, this is probably where we screwed up right there. Nonetheless, that was, <laughs> that could have been a bad thing actually, you know what I said. But, uh, you know, you can look through history and see that, that you know, the human race wasn't even close to being wiped out or anything like that. No. The, uh, it does show the Krakatoa eruption here, and, 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 and of course, the, this could be Yellowstone this time, we have no idea. If there's no volcano could erupt this time, we have no idea. 
the fact is, between those years of 1883 and 1843 was 1856, you know, height of solar activity through that 150-year cycle that we go through there. And so here we're looking at, okay, so here at NASA site, the SOHO Observatory site, they made the announcement that, that SOHO's 16th birthday gift's on its way, and by December the 15th, this new Kreutz group coming. Now, they, 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 you can go to Lasco's uh, coronagraph site here where they, uh, they have a segment for sun grazers here, and you can click on and check on all the sun grazing comets, and, and you know that we've seen many large comets come by our sun. The only problem with this one is the uh, its perihelion is extremely close. And uh, here again, they, you know, there's an article on it, and, and they're telling the best they can. This, it comes up from the southern hemisphere, so it's hard to observe with normal telescopes. Nonetheless, they can still see it coming. Some of these astronomers say that it's not going to be a big deal, and of course some say, yeah, well, it could be a big deal. None of them are wanting to, to, to cause any panic or anything like that. Uh, here are five possible, so four possible scenarios, and uh, this guy seems to think that the, the first two are more likely than not. It could be a huge bright quartz family like the Great Comet of the 1880s or the 1865. Of course it is because it's the second part. It could just be a nice bright quartz like someone, uh, some of the ones we've seen over the past few years. It could be somewhat large, but not altogether enormous bright uh, quartz like Comet White in 1945. You see, there's one that's 20 years before that. So this thing's been strung along quite a bit. And it already goes on down here to its perihelion. And that's its closest point. And, uh, well, it's, it's, it's uh, a little over 1.2 solar radii. That's from the center of the sun out to its edge. It's a... Uh, it will skim approximately 140,000 kilometers above the solar surface. That's, you know, it's around 100,000 miles. And yes, it is extremely close. I don't think it will survive the encounter. In fact, I think, you know, in fact, if you look at uh, the past comments that we've had from the Kreutz family this year, well, there's actually been seven, but there's not a single one that's made it by it yet. In fact, they've all hit the sun this time around. So we got a heads up on a big comet, and it, it, you know it's more likely going to contact the surface of the sun on December the 15th, and it could be visible to the naked eye. Certainly something we need to keep an eye on, but nonetheless, I mean, this is what you're prepared for. Now, at no time, I want to remind everybody, does this I pose any threat whatsoever to Earth? In fact, I got it here on uh, JPL. They've given it a name. It's uh, C2011 W3 Lovejoy. And uh, you can look at it and see it's coming up again from the southern hemisphere or the southern plane of the solar system up from the bottom, so to speak. A very steep angle. And uh, again, you can see it goes straight towards the sun and back. It doesn't go anywhere near Earth whatsoever. In fact, Earth's on the opposite side, so the tail will have no effect, even if it was enormous. It's not going to have an effect on Earth. The effect on Earth's going to come from what the sun's reaction is to it. So, again, this is what we need to pay attention to solar activity. I wouldn't be, you know, rule out the fact that all this solar activity has been due to an approach of a large object, and this very well could be it. You know, every hundred so hundred years or so, this 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 has actually come by. It's been recorded and it's been seen in broad daylight every time. Actually, both pieces have. But again, I want to make sure everybody understands that's not a word they're going to hit hit the Earth at all whatsoever. In fact, it's, it's more than likely going to hit the sun like the other pieces did. So I just want to put this video out, man. You know, I mean, you know, you do your best. Take care of your own. And uh, big old peace and love. Big heads up. Thanks, everybody.